Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. news in the streets join us and tune in for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe so about a week ago erica mena was upset because she felt that safari um she was mad because Safari was taking her to court to lower his child support payments. So let me go ahead and share that with you guys here. Give me just a second. Okay. So, Safari pleads for child support payments to Erica Mena to be lowered, no longer earning $61,000 a month. So that was the story. Um, so this was about a week ago when that first came out. And then yesterday well then she was like arguing back and forth she was dragging him on the shave room saying that he's a deadbeat he just doesn't want to pay child support let me see if i can find that other clip here so after a while safari has finally decided to come out and defend himself so give me just a second one of my clips is missing so i see she had this calendar on this clip i don't know if i have it nope i don't but she had posted a calendar it was on the shade room and basically on that calendar um, I think she said like the yellow days were when she had the kids and the orange days was when Safari had the kids. And literally it looked like Safari only had them kids six times in the entire year. So Safari was really tired of her constantly bashing him and spinning her own narrative. He finally took to social media to blast Erica. We're not going to watch this whole story time. Um, I've watched the whole thing. I'm not going to play it on my stream. We're going to watch maybe the first eight minutes. This is extremely disturbing. They got Erica Mena looking crazy as cat shit, too. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I don't even I don't even know where to start. Um, but I'm, I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> the fact that people, even whether you know me or not, you still, there still has to be like a certain level of, of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with TV at all or none of that. Like this is this is real life because kids are involved, and this deadbeat narrative. It's like it's just it's just so jarring to me. It it does give me a headache sometimes, but then you know, um, I'm pretty good at just brushing things off, but. You know, people who know me and especially know my situation, <clears throat> they're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be sparing people. And then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's nobody's business. But I feel like everybody just feels like they know my business and... If it's reported, it's news, and that it's the truth, and it's real. But I'm I'm pretty sure that you know there's some men out there who can relate to this. And um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation, where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing and they can't have control, it, it's just not gonna be a, a easy transition. You know, especially when, you know, the, the, the um, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. But I love my kids and 
it's gotten to the point that I I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just whose anger management is just non-existent. When I first moved to Florida, I remember I, I got a two bedroom condo and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce and I started the whole, okay, visitation, we and having my kids for the days I was having them. When my kids first came over in my condo, it made me so depressed because I was like, yo, they just, I felt like they were so confined and I didn't feel good about it. And I said, yo, I gotta get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves and just, it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children, you know, co-parenting setup. And I found my house. <laughs> And I'm gonna just I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Seeing my kids be here running around, it's the best feeling. You know? You know when you have children with somebody who, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting, you know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else. And, you know, you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's, it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old and he says, if I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make that up, you know? Okay, let me jump in and, and say something here. The problem is, I remember when they first met, because they were on this like VH1 horror show. Um, I forgot the name of it. But I remember they first went on the horror show and he was smitten by her. La 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 Latina. He was smitten, okay? And she was smitten by him. They both, you know, liked each other. But, you know, at what point do people start looking and seeing red flags? Because when you meet somebody, right, of course there's going to be a physical attraction there. That's, you know, that's a given. But you still have to, especially once you get to a certain age, like if, if this were people like in their 20s, I can understand because when you're young, you just don't know, you know, you just fall for the physical and you know what I'm saying you add sex to it. Your mind is blown. I get that. These people are dead. I think he, is he not 40? I might be wrong, but he, if he's not 40, he's damn near 40. Erica's in her late thirties. So at what point do we start looking and perceiving red flags? Because see, people can always, people are always going to send their representative, right? I've been in situations like that where somebody will send their representative and they seem like, okay, we got some things in common, seems like a nice person, seems real cool, hard worker, but then they say little shit and red bell, you know, alarm bells start ringing out from my head. Especially when I see like how they treat other people, their past relationships. You, you have to listen to alarm bells. And the thing is, it's not like Erica was just some random woman. Her history is on the internet. 
I have videos in my archives of Erica beating on her baby daddy on the street. Because I know I did a video about that. Erica been wild and crazy. None of this stuff is new. But again, people become so smitten with people that they throw all common sense out the window. There's no way at my big age that I would have a baby with somebody who is not a good father. You have children by multiple women. You're not taking care of them. Why the fuck would I line up at my big age to be baby mama number seven or eight? This is why I felt no ways about any of future baby mamas. You're an idiot. He's shown you time and time again that he's not going to be in these kids' lives consistently. Yet, Eliza Rain ran to go be baby mama number eight and then try to play victim. You don't get to play victim. Not when everything is put out there on the table. So if this woman did not even have her oldest child living with her because she felt it was more important to be on reality television and loving hip hop and work at the Dash store with the Kardashians, then you should have just took this as we're just having fun. I'm just saying we have to start seeing alarm bells and red flags and understanding that 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 is your intuition that is God speaking to you because people can tell you anything but once you watch their actions and they say something that you are uncomfortable with you cut it off no explanation let's keep going and it's it, it it sucks that I gotta like really just run this down because of this smear campaign and somebody who gets such a high on just talking about me and picking and choosing what kids you want to, you know, have on the forefront and get whatever extra attention you get off of it. You know, so I kind of just looked past certain things and thought that, you know, maybe I could help and make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out and the two of you are just like in a weird space and everything is a fight, Look how those babies are unfazed. Look how she pushed him and she's yelling and the babies are just looking like. They become so desensitized to her antics. They're unfazed. They're not crying. They're not trying to run to either parent. That th those babies actions to their interaction is sad. Especially, Especially in front, in front of, the front of kids. The kids. Like, like, I'm not going to subject myself to that. My kids have never, ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. You you me. Me. You're dead to me. Yeah, you are too. Oh, you you yeah. is dead. You, you mean, mean, dead. Mean, dead. I need you. No. no. I need me before I need you. Remember that. Nice blow, Linda. Yeah, go ahead. You too, bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't argue, that's just not in me. But, you know, on the other hand, the other side, they don't operate or think the way I do. And when, when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and call, oh, who's there? Well, what's going on? It's just so unhealthy, so excessive to the point where it just creates a lot of issues. Like, you can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's an issue, you know? I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, n nobody's gonna let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself. I didn't have no help.
I don't want a biscuit for it. I did it, you know? It just, it just creates such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna deal with this through the courts and when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be sorted out, then, okay, we'll figure it out. So for the past, you know, few months, that's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing because my original standing order for this child support and the visitation and all of that, everything, it originated from... Chad, I'm getting sleepy. Um, sir, where's the part where she's climbing on the ladder? Because this is just too much talking. Give a shit about none of this. Let's see, is this the part? I'm trying to see like the... Because he's putting little clips of like home video footage. I don't, I don't, I don't move, move like, like that. that. I don't, I don't move, move like that. that. You know, you know, Cause that's the baby's walking out behind her. She's not even holding their hand. She's just walking out. Okay, I guess. Time to find the part where she's climbing the ladder looking like a white walker. Is this the part? Okay, here's the part. Because I'm tired of this long song and dance. I'm tired. Not off and shit. Okay, I think this is the part. All right, here we go. <laughs> this bitch really got a ladder. I said, what is she doing? Climbing the wall? Bitch, is this Game of Thrones? Hell no, nah. she went and got her a ladder. Uh, what, what is that? that? Look at her. That's trespassing, ma'am. She's insane. Took a ladder to climb over his fence to go argue at the back of his patio. That is creepy. Dang, no my son's, My son's birthday, birthday party, party was like, like a, month a month after, after that. No, like it was a while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, hey, you want a restraining order, but um, you went to a party. She was there. So you, you must not be in that much fear. So I so dropped drop drop that case. case. All right. Bye. We're at Bye Safari. We'll see you later, sir. Later, Safari. We're out. Um, Yeah, th <laughs> this whole situation's a mess. So I, I put a poll in the chat. And the poll, if you guys see it, it's, it's pinned in the chat. It says, do you believe him? Over 2,227 people, now 29, voted. 54% said yes, they believe Safari. 46% said no. I'm going to end it now. I just ended the poll. So it's really half and half. Over 2,000 people voted. It's almost half and half. More people believe him than not believe him. So, of course, Erica responded to this. She wrote a bunch of stuff um, in the shade room. She also posted a video claiming that the children um, were hurt around Safari. So let's, this is just, this is sick, sick and sad. Let me share this tab here. So it's on my Instagram page. This was after she climbed. When was this? And, and my daddy. Yeah. When you were with daddy? Yeah. Really? I saw him the so long. I saw my daddy kick him and fall off. And who fell off? My And I was watching him the while I fall off. And did daddy, why, why did daddy kick him? Who got, let you got a boo-boo? I mean, she told my mommy you, he got boo-boo like that. Wow. And this was in daddy's house? No. Yes, that's not my daddy's, that's not my brother's father. That's not your brother's father? Who said that? Daddy. Daddy? What, what did daddy do? When was this? And, and my daddy. Yeah. When you was with daddy? Yeah. Really? I saw him the so long. I saw my daddy kick him and fall off. And who fell off? My and I was watching him the while I fall off. And did daddy, why, why did daddy kick him? 
Who got? Leggy got a boo boo. Wow. And this was in daddy's house? Wow. Yes, that's not my daddy's. That's not my brother's father. That's not your brother's father? Who said that? Daddy. Daddy? What, what did daddy do? Child, first of all, it sounds like coaching to me. Um, I'm going to just keep it real with you. Because... If her child was really being abused, I mean, the, the girl's conversation and stories all over the place, it's like she's trying to remember what to say. Um, and then her saying that the brother is not, you know, that's not the father's child. That sounds like something that Erica Mena would say. Um, the problem is, if this abuse situation that she's saying that the daughter is blasting Safari, that she was abused, then why have you been fighting for the past two years on social media, anytime you see Safari having a good time, anytime you see him on a date, anytime he's, he even breathes, you need to take care of your kids. You need to come see your kids. You don't spend any time with your kids. Well, which one is it? If he's an abusive father and he's an ain't shit father, why do you want him to spend time with the children so bad? It doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't want him around my children if he's that terrible of a person. So something ain't clean in the buttermilk. I think at this point, um, I think Safari was pushed to his wit's end. Regardless if you believe him or not, let's keep it real. The main person who's been talking all these years and blasting him, cussing him out, throwing tantrums has been Erica. Safari hasn't said anything. He's taken those hits on the chin and kept it moving. But at some point, you know, I guess he just decided to snap and do a whole story time and get teary-eyed. I do believe a lot of what Safari is saying, but I also believe that they both provoke each other. I don't think either one of them are fully innocent. He's like, I don't like to argue. Well, that's fine. That doesn't mean that you're fully innocent. You know, she's definitely a hothead, but it's clear that he may do some things to push her to that point as well. But I think using the kids as pawns is insane. The fact that Erica would sit there and throw a vase and throw stuff around with her children present is insane. What if glass broke and it hit the babies? What if something bounced back off the floor and hit the babies? It just doesn't make any sense. And then my thing is if he's so violent, he's such a horrible person, why are you sitting here bringing a ladder? This bitch done put a ladder in her truck brought it to the back of his fence and hopped over his fence. When a person is abusive and crazy, you're not going to want to play with crazy. You're going to go the opposite way. You're not going to be running towards crazy. So I think they both need to just, they need to separate at this point and everything needs to be done through the courts. They need to have a family liaison, a guardum, a litem. Who needs to be there and, and figure out the whole visitation thing. Because now that they bought it to social media, it's, it's gotten really ugly. Now their allegations being levied and it, the whole thing is just insane. But again, this is what happens when you fall in lust. Because neither one of them were in love. They were in lust because Safari's hung like a motherfucking shit. Y'all need to call Safari third leg. Okay? We all know he's hung like a damn giraffe. <laughs> you know, he was in love with Erica Mena. She's a beautiful girl. So they fell in lust. And then they try to make lust turn into love by getting married and having these kids. But um, it just wasn't there. That's, that, the lust is only going to take you so far. Because relationships are going to have their ups, their downs, their good and their bad. It's all the other nuances in a relationship that will determine if you guys are going to be able to make it or not. If it's just the sex that's botched out together, that, that, okay. And then after that's said and done, you still hate that person. So I think people should take this situation as a cautionary tale. And to understand that when you see red flags, regardless if it's in a man or a woman, you need to haul ass. What's the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV 
the show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.